Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Harry Potter 4, The Goblet of Fire. As always, I'm joined with my cousin, Nine-Tailed Brush. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this movie. Every Harry Potter movie we watch, the next one is even better. And I'm just excited. I really enjoyed uh, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, yep. By far my favorite. Definitely my favorite, yeah. So I'm kind of excited to get into this. Uh, really quick before we do get into this, we did just launch a Patreon. So we got full-length reactions, early access if you want to watch the next Harry Potter movie, the whole Harry Potter movie, different stuff like that. We're really trying to upgrade the show. And any sort of help on Patreon really does help the show. So if you guys want to check that out, that would be awesome. Link in the description. Besides that, um, I'm really excited for this video. And I say we just jump into it. Is this Voldemort? <laughs> Dude, that's a dark opening right there. Even the theme is like a minor version of the theme. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> well, someone's doing something they're not supposed to. It's like an abandoned house or something. It looks like. Yep. That's right, Voldemort has a snake. And I do know about uh, Voldemort's snake. I think it's Nikita is his snake. Dude, they're way older in this movie. Yo! Do you know that guy? No, I don't. Robert Pattinson? No. He's He like blew up in Twilight and he's gonna be the next Batman. Oh, okay. I mean, I heard of Twilight. I knew he's in one of these. I didn't know he was in this movie. Not crazy. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, now you know. Yo. Yo. What? What? <laughs> that was badass. I like that, th that as the movies go on, they make a point to expand the universe. Like, doing something like this, we've never seen this before. It's not a, you know, Hogwarts or anything like that. And I think it's cool. Oh, dude, this has got to be a magical tent. Listen, I mean, they're at a Quidditch <laughs> freaking championship or whatever. Oh, dude, that's sick. <laughs> huh. Me too, Harry. Dude, imagine just going camping and just flipping out oh, that tent. Oh, dude. See, I'd go camping if I had that tent. Yo, that tent is like... Whoa! What? <laughs> Whoa, dude. This is so sick. To the final of the oh, dude, he has his wand to his throat to make it louder. Oh, yeah. That's the all. Match. Yo. Holy, dude. What the heck? It's like some sort of, like, cult thing. It's Voldemort's people, I'm assuming, right? This weird like m like moaning sound, like this echoing moaning sound is, is creepy, Ooh, dude. Dude, they're freaking lighting everything on fire. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. Dang, I've heard I've heard of Death Eaters. 
Oh, dude. I wonder what their goal was. I I don't know if they were making a statement or they yeah. were actually looking for Harry. Dude, Ron is so much older. He, I feel like he yeah. grew up the most. His voice sounds like his brothers now, like completely. He looks way more like his brothers, which is great casting, by the way. What oh, wait, is Siri's, Siri's gonna doing? be in this more? Yeah. I hope so, dude. He was my favorite. He's like one of my favorite characters in this whole series. I didn't. I didn't know he was gonna come back so soon. I hope you know? he's gonna come back, dude. But even mentioning him, I thought he'd be like <laughs> maybe the next movie after this one. But oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Yo! I didn't know there were other schools of magic. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Ron's, Freaking Ron. Ron's faces. Do you think she has, like, anything to do with, like, Hagrid or, like, the same, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, maybe. Because their size? <laughs> Dang, these people know how to make an entrance. Who the heck was that guy? What the hell is going on? Whoa. Is that the goblet? <laughs> I would assume so. A fire. Oh, we know what Harry's <laughs> doing. Yeah, but he's under 17, right? Oh, they, he? they were telling us they were telling us that they go get older every movie and what was he 15 yeah, last movie or he's like 14 or 15 this movie what's I mean that? we know he's doing it rules <laughs> they've never stopped Harry before okay <laughs> it's like a new one every, new one every movie <laughs> Ah, uh, so that's the curse to like, control oh, you? Oh, shoot. That's crazy, dude. I mean, that that makes me understand almost why Harry Potter is as famous as he is. Like, now that you yeah. understand the weight of the different curses. It's usually those types of teachers that are, like, you know, s super intense and, like, people don't, like, you know, they think they're, like, too crazy. That, like, you know, they really will teach you stuff, you yeah. know? Yeah, well, I mean, really he's been you. there. He may not even be a good teacher, but he's been through it. <laughs> Yo, what if it selects Harry and he didn't even put his name in? Wouldn't that be crazy? He's like, Destined. maybe, dude. I could see it ha not being Harry at all, though. True, sure, yeah, yeah. But then who would it be? It's gonna be what's his name, Robert Pattinson. There we go, dude.
Oh, goodness. Wait, is it going to be Harry? Be? Yo! Oh, what? Harry Potter. Dude, you called it. Did he put his name in even? Wait, so I'm assuming if the goblet just chooses him, they have no choice? I assume. Goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Cotter has no choice. He is, as of tonight, a Triwizard Champion. Yo, dude. What? Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize how big of a deal that was. You know, like everyone's like really freaked out. What exactly? What's up with this whole whole competition, dude? I don't know. They know but something. They once are again. way more. I feel like it's not just the competition. It's are they? Not. They're way more freaked out. Maybe they're thinking Voldemort. Wants Harry Potter to compete for a certain reason. Yeah, I mean, I can, you know, I guess people can get like that. But. No, I mean, of course, nobody would believe him. Like, this has never happened before, ever. Yeah, but I would, because, like, I mean. Listen, you know, the amount of things that Harry Potter has done and has happened around him. No, I feel like Sirius is more plugged into the underworld, though. He's going to know what's going on with Voldemort and different things like that because he's in hiding. I'm worried about Sirius, you know? he. F I feel like he's still in danger of, like, death. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure, dude. Sirius. What the heck? Wait, what? The Death Eaters were Voldemort's followers. Yeah, and the guy who's the head of the, the boy school or whatever is a Death Eater. Yes, yeah, somebody put his name in the goblet. <sighs> what if it's Cedric? You mean the... This is Robert Pattinson, Cedric, the, the other Gryffindor. Do you think he has something to do with it? Hagrid, you've combed your hair. <laughs> I have. Oh. I'm gonna try the same thing now and again. Wait. Does Hagrid have a love interest? Uh, is it the the uh, headmaster of the other school? You think? I, I don't know. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Harry. Give Hagrid some props. What the heck is this? Oh, crap. Yo. I have to admit that hotel is a really nasty piece of work. We're on early feet to just see them. Oh, sure. Brother Charlie had to bring him over from Romania. Didn't want to tell you that. No, he didn't. He didn't tell me a thing. Yo, I hate that they're not getting along. Oh. And it's so stupid. Yo. <laughs> oh!
I like how hardcore he is. Yeah. Dude, something bad's gonna happen with freaking Harry, man. It's like Sirius told him to keep his friends close, and he's yeah, doing the I'm opposite. Just thinking that. <sighs> oh, darn it, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? I was literally gonna say that was like a sweet moment until the dumb press lady showed up. I know. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right then. I like this guy out of pure bias. It's just because I like the actor, but I don't want him to die. I like Diggory. Well, I mean, none of these people deserve to get hurt, you know? Yeah. It's like... <laughs> oh, oh shoot, God, dude. dude. That thing's freaking sick. Oh, did he call his, um, his broom? Maybe he can enchant his broom somehow to come to him. I mean, that's legal, right? He can use his wand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh, oh shoot. Goodness, dude. Oh, dude. Whoa. Yo. Yo! Oh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait, so what was the egg? Is it a clue or something? It is. I don't know what the heck it was. I don't know if we're going to see more of that. The next, like, tournament? Yeah, part? I assume. Has been a tradition of the... Tournament. <laughs> That's the biggest freaking record fire I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Dude, I like, uh, we've said this throughout the series, but I like beyond, you know, all the magic and all the stuff, they nail stuff about schools. Like, yeah. I have had talks like this so many times before, like, a game or something where it's like, we're the host school. You guys are going to behave. Like, like there's certain school tropes they just kill. Yeah. We see always <laughs> makes decisions and ends up regretting them. <laughs> it's literally disaster out of nowhere. Come on. I won't be going alone because believe it or not, someone's asked me. Dang it, Ron, just freaking ask Hermione already, bro. Come on. Sorry, I didn't catch that. The owl. I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh. Um. Harry, I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Oh. That's unfortunate. Okay. Poor Harry. You're totally right. Well, I mean, because he was kept looking at her, right? Yeah. But, like, I'm so surprised that Ron or Harry didn't ask <sighs> Ron her is so to dumb, go, bro. He should have asked her. I mean, I feel like the Ron and Hermione thing is inevitable. Yeah, I mean, there's so much of a connection I know. there. Like, 
And I'm sure Hermione like was just waiting for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Neville and Ginny, bro. <laughs> Good for him. That's awesome. <laughs> Does he have scars on his shoulder? I think just scratches. Okay. Yo. Dude, it's gotta be like mermaids. Yeah. I don't know about turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. Freaking Neville coming through. <laughs> don't waste time, don't waste time. One of the treasures, something got stolen yeah. from it. So they just gotta re retrieve it from the, uh, the bottom. Okay. So she has, like, an air bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, they're definitely not alone. Oh, dang. What the? Yo, Wait, what? Actually, peep. What? Is that Ron and freaking... What? Yeah, it is. Oh shoot, cause, whoa, what, what the heck? Oh, is that freaking Cedric? Or not Cedric, the- That's the Krom, right? What Maybe. the hell? Now what was attacking them? Oh, sh the that? Things. The heck is that? There's a lot of them. Crap! Come on, Harry, grab your wand, bro! Shoot! Shoot! His thing ran out. Oh, oh, dang! That little conversation I heard, like, Dumbledore wants to stop it, stop the yeah, uh, stop thing, the right? tournament. But the, and the uh, minister, minister doesn't, doesn't want it. to. Yeah. I wonder. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why can't it just be regular food? That's <laughs> freaky. <is> happening? <laughs> I don't want my candy biting. Me. <laughs> oh shoot! That's the thing that. Dumbledore was looking into earlier, remember? Oh shoot, that's the guy from the beginning! Yeah. And that's his son! That's why they were saying he was crazy, because he convicted his son! Wait, what? Lacewing flies, 
You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion, and believe me, I'm going to find out why. I think Moody's been stealing from Snape. Really? He's been making potions. I don't think it's Harry. No, I, I mean, it can't be Harry, right? Because... I bet you Moody did it. <laughs> I really like the feel of this movie so far. Yeah. It's very different, and I like it. They're kind of mixing it up. It's not the classic mystery... Like, it's still a mystery, but it's not the classic mystery format that it normally is, and I really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck? What? What the hell? Oh! It's like a resurrection ceremony, dude. What the heck? Such a handsome boy. Don't touch him! Hey! Oh, I'd almost forgotten you were here. Standing on the bones of my father. <laughs> Oh shit, dude. It's the final boss already? Let's go, Harry. Have it your way. Yo! Those are his parents, right? Yeah. Yo, what just happened? Not yet, Dumbledore, what's happened? He's back. He's back. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. All right, Harry. It's all right. My son! This is my boy! Jeez, dude. As it was meant to be so. And now the deed is done. The blood that runs through these veins runs within the Dark Lord. What the hell? Wait, there's no way. There's no way he's bad. Dude, I told you. We get up in a minute. Oh shoot, dude. That's the one dude, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, dude. Rod. 
I'm surprised none of the school people were really involved, at least in this movie, uh, with the Voldemort or anything. I liked that. Yeah, it was completely separate. Everything is going to change now, isn't it? Um, what the hell? <laughs> wow, that took... <laughs> what was that movie? That went from, like, it wasn't 0 to 100, but it went from, like, 50 Basically. To because, like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, I did not think that was, any of that was, I mean, I knew Voldemort was going to come eventually. I, like, this is a little bit of stuff I knew. Like, I knew he was going to be Voldemort. I did not expect that now. Yeah. And then the guy changing from from Professor Mooney and what? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like it answered a few things but added way more questions. I mean like I I hate to to be speechless but I kind of am like I I'm like processing everything that happened, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so Voldemort's back. We don't know what the heck the wand thing was. That was not normal clearly from what Dumbledore said. I, I assume it's something to do with the wands being related. You yeah, know, like I was brother wands, too, right? Yeah. And I, I, I'm sure there's other stuff. Um, what was with Voldemort saying you don't know the true story? Because it sounded like he was going to tell him what happened, but he didn't say. You know, he was like, oh, there was old magic. I mean, I'm assuming it's just. But are they going to go into that, that more? Learn, yeah. I don't know. It's got to be something, of course, just like with their encounter with Harry's pa parents, why Voldemort was trying to kill him. Yeah. Why he didn't kill him with the killing curse, you know? It's probably all about that. He just, they're just saving it for a different movie, maybe. Oh, that's freaking crazy, dude. But like, what's crazy about this movie that's different from all the others is that the other movies had like a gradual, they were giving hints of the final kind of like confrontation the entire movie yeah and then the final confrontation happens and it's kind of like okay yes i i Expected felt like we we're this. building up to this yeah whereas here i was not expecting voldemort to just pop but out it's, of it's freaking nowhere. genius because you see all the all the hints like like i know the actors i don't know the ugh, freaking characters i'm sorry guys i i try david tennant's character like the young guy who served voldemort Who's pretending to be uh, Professor yeah. Mooney, right? If you watch what Professor Mooney did the whole movie, he's he's doing shit the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is why it's genius because it sets it up, but it doesn't. No, of course, but it's not like, like you don't register. It, and the main conflict of the movie wasn't exactly. It wasn't Voldemort or Chamber or whatever. It was. It was. It was another separate thing, which was really smart. Yeah, it was like the biggest conflict that could happen, but it was a sub conflict throughout the entire movie. Like the main conflict was the whole. Tournament, thing, yeah, you know, yeah. which they did a good job of hiding yeah. everything else in. Yeah, and behind the scenes, you could tell with the dream and all that. Yeah, there was some Voldemort stuff happening, but like, there was no way we could see like how it would end up. You know? Oh my gosh, man. Okay, so Snape's a Death Eater, which is cool. I, I don't think I'm. I don't think he's gonna do I anything. Don't think he's a bad guy. <laughs> I, I, <don't>, like, <laughs> I think not. they're gonna try and trick us maybe yeah. again. I really don't think he is. I do think that's cool, and it's a yeah. really cool detail because I think that adds a lot to his character lucius being uh a death eater i can definitely i mean i it. yeah that's, i figured yeah i didn't because i didn't know about death eaters like you know i knew of that i just knew the name okay. kind of and some stuff like that which was sick and the way they came in with like the the like yeah, weird yeah. cloud teleportation stuff was sick that's crazy looking um freaking voldemort's crazy looking i didn't think yeah. he was gonna get to his see, so i knew he'd look like kind of but i didn't expect that to happen this movie i thought it was gonna happen way later i didn't know he would get into his like you know body or whatever yeah until like way later but i mean dude that thing escalated quick freaking robert yeah. patton cedric died uh, are you yes. kidding me bro yeah. 
Dude, damn it! It was so fast too, because like we just got started to know, know. about it, and, and then they were like actually helping each other in the maze, and it's like oh, expelling arm or not expelling arm, was a yeah, yeah. whatever. Gosh, dude, <sighs> that was sad because it was with his dad there and all that. Could you imagine? Oh, that's dude, so that was so depressing. well done though. Like when yeah. he comes back and everybody else is like happy, it, it's so genius the way it was done. Um, on a lighter note, something I was picking up on. So I think the other two schools were from different countries. Uh, so the girls' school was from France and the, the boys' school was from, from Russia. Russia. Yeah. Because at first I was like, oh, they're just kind of like aesthetically copying it. But I don't think so. They're actually Which is from super cool. Countries, yeah. And I don't know a lot about the, the sequel or whatever prequel thing, but there's other movies, the Fantastic Beasts movies. Oh, yeah, I've heard of and those. And those yeah. take place, I believe, in America. Oh, really? So I don't know if there's an American... If you guys want to tell us about that, because I think that's super cool. That's a super cool way to expand the universe. Like different branches. There's different schools, I assume, in different countries. So is there an American school? I, I think that's cool. So that was a cool... In, this is in... Uh, this is in England. England, yeah. Yeah. So this is the English school of magic. I didn't know there were other schools of magic, but apparently there are, which is cool. cool. That, like, every country has their own school of magic, I would assume, at least. Yeah, because it wouldn't, you know, be which only is in one sick. location. Which that's cool. Um, that was such a good movie. Yeah. That was really well done. I really liked the directing. It was very unique once again. Um, I think the next director directs all the last ones. Okay, so they changed it up. I end. think so. So this is the two middle ones are kind of random, and then the last is the last three This the next guy does. Okay, well, I mean, I liked this guy's directing. He did, I did well too. for the I've two liked movies the, that he did. The yeah. newer guys, you know, it, dude, it's just crazy to think, you know, what, we're halfway through the series? And just, like, I keep seeing the difference between, I mean, Hermione says it at the end, like, oh, nothing's going to be the same. But, like, dude, it is so different from movie one to now. Oh, yeah. And that is the craziest thing to me. And I like it. I like I like how the characters, you know, almost seem affected the same way we are as an audience being like, holy shit. Like, yeah. somebody just got murdered. We've barely even seen the death spell. Now we've seen it, like, four times this movie. Freaking Harry yeah. just fought Voldemort. Like, it is never going to be the same. Yeah. And I like that. You know, the characters are going through that as well as us. Yeah, it definitely pushed forward, like, super fast in this movie as far as, like, yeah. development of Voldemort, you know, backstory. Not backstory, but, you know, the whole Voldemort plot. Just thing, some legitimate know? evil. Yeah. This is not a kid's movie anymore. This is not, you know, Voldemort might come back. Oh, he's in a journal. He's in a... It's like... No, no like, shit's going down. He's back. He's back. He is back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Oh, man... Dude, it's crazy because now it's not all the, uh, like, there's not a whole bunch of, like, subtle hiding of, like, who no, could dude. be on Voldemort's it's side. It's all out, it's like, we man. know Lucius it's is now on It's freaking full on side. war. Yeah. So what's going to happen with, with, uh, why am I forgetting these people's names? What is going to happen? Who's Lucius's kid? Oh, Malfoy. Or, what's going to happen uh, with Draco? Draco? Yeah, I don't know. Is he going to turn back? Like, is he going to be full Does on evil? Know? Does he know? I don't think he knows. Is he going to turn that's, bad next movie? I feel like that's going to be the thing. Is he going to turn bad or is he going to have to like face his father or uh, something? Like that? Yo, dude. dude. I'm excited, so bro. <laughs> and like Neville, like I don't know what's going on with Neville. There could be something going on there, you know? I think, no, he, the thing with him was was him getting tricked, right? That's why he brought him to get the tea because he gave him the book and then the... No, yeah, but I'm just saying like with him reacting to the curse a certain way. Yeah. Remember in the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He acted a little like traumatized by it or something. Unless that was just his nice nature. I think nature. that was just yeah. him being... I, I'm really enjoying seeing all these characters develop. Though. Yeah. Like, like, it really is to the fullest bringing, like, what I wanted with the side characters. Like, even, like, like I didn't expect, like, Ron's brothers to be any, any sort of, like, development. And they've, like, clearly developed... I just oh, yeah. like how they're paying attention to the side characters. I think that makes it feel really lived in. Like, yeah. it makes it feel like a real universe well, and a real makes, school yeah. and everything. You, like, feel like you're kind of, like... It's that whole thing of like you feel like you're growing up with the characters, you yeah. know, and you could get that connection and see their development. It's, you get a real good, you know, look at who they are and things like that, and you can feel. But I think it's that attention to detail. Like yeah. you're always going to develop your main characters, like yeah. whatever. But I think it's that attention to detail that at least I notice in some of my favorite, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, like Harry Potter. Now, like it, they do such a good job of paying attention to the people who don't matter and the things that don't matter, quote unquote. And it makes it feel so much more real. And so then I'm watching yeah. this movie and I'm like fully invested in freaking Cedric. Like they just introduced Cedric. And that yeah. sucked. That did suck. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get into the next movie. 
Yeah. Um, same. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, if you guys like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, show everything some love. You guys have been so, so great about the Harry Potter series. Um, like I said, check out our Patreon. We have full length reactions if we cut out stuff that you, you wanted really wanted to see. We have early access so you guys can see the next movie, different things like that. Since we are you know doing Patreon and now I'm like two, three weeks ahead in the future, let me know what you guys want us to do next. I'm leaning towards doing Lord of the Rings. It's my favorite film series of all time. I haven't seen it in like four or five years, so it's been a while for me. Nine Tail Brush has never seen it. Never I, seen I it. absolutely adore Lord of the Rings. I was thinking of doing that. But let me know what you guys think. I kind of like sticking on this whole fantasy thing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys, Harry Potter fans, have just been coming through. You guys are the best, <laughs> the sweetest, the most informative. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll see you guys in the next Harry Potter movie and in the next video.